it's not too fair, but I mean, at least it's not as cold as it would be. John Olenek has lived at the Windsor Hotel for more than a year. Now he and at least 20 other people who live there have until the end of April to find somewhere else to live. I mean, there's some people that stay here that haven't left the building. So, I mean, for those people, I've, it's going to be hard for them, right? Olenek says he has had trouble finding housing in the past. Closing the Windsor will take 43 low-cost units off the market. We all knew this day was going to come one day. Uh, I used to live at the Winnipeg as well. The closing of the Windsor Hotel and the loss of these units is part of an ongoing trend in Winnipeg. Last year, a report from McMaster University found that the city lost more than 24,000 units with rents under $750 between 2011 and 2021. That includes the Winnipeg Hotel on Main Street, which closed for renovations in 2019. Kate Schoberg works with Main Street Project, which has been helping tenants from the Windsor facing eviction. She says hotels fill an important role in the low-income housing market. So the, the pressure for people who are losing their housing who are low income is, is extreme right now. There are not options. As a city, we've lost tremendous amounts of downtown hotel spaces where people have been living over the last 20 years. A spokesperson for the city said the hotel is being sold because the owner has not paid their property taxes. An online listing put the price at two and a half million dollars. The 120 year old Windsor Hotel has a colorful history. It served as an incubator for the city's music scene and hosted many legendary artists. But now its future is uncertain. One city councillor wants a system to alert agencies like Main Street Project when mass evictions happen. I definitely want to make sure that um, where we have preventative models, we're, we're really exercising them on behalf of residents. So people like John Olenek can get help the next time a Winnipeg hotel closes. Cameron McLean, CBC News, Winnipeg.